Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again, getting back to Let's Play Silent Hill 2 for the PlayStation 2. In the last video, we escaped to look a prison. We uh, went down many holes and even a minute long elevator to get to our next area, which, yeah, I will explain a little bit in a minute. And in this video, we're going to start exploring this new area. So, with that, Let's go. Alright. So by looking at the map, we don't have a map. This new area is known as the Labyrinth. However, despite it being a labyrinth, this is actually a pretty easy area. And it's crowded with uh, patient demons. Joy. <clears throat> Uh, so, this isn't the way to go, this is actually a detour, a slight detour. There's some mandarins underneath, but we don't have to worry about them. Enter that door. We're now in Pyramid Head's lair. We just got the great knife. We just got Pyramid Head's bloody blade. That is crazy. We just got Pyramid Head's blade. That's very crazy. Anyway, so we're on our way back now. Nah. Uh, right. That's the fun in all this. Pyramid Head is going through the lower hallways, stalking the lower hallways. So that means while you're in this maze, you either take the right direction or you're going face to face with Pyramid Head. Anyway. I probably should have tried demonstrated the great knife on that lying figure, but that's okay. Instead, I'm going to try and demonstrate it here now. The massive weapon wielded by Pyramid Head. Hard to use, but lethal. They're not kidding. This is as fast as you're going. Get used to it. There are two attacks for uh, Pyramid Head's Great Knife, and James only wants to do one, apparently. One of them is an overhead slash. The other one, which James doesn't want to do, apparently, is, uh, is a swipe. It's kind of hard to explain. I'll probably show... I'll probably show it again later. Anyway... Now we have the stupidest puzzle in Silent Hill history. The room that James was just in shows a bunch of uh, doors. If you change one of the faces on this box, the doors are changed. And look at that, we just did it on our first try. Baggage, you are supposed to be dead. Alive? Maria, I thought that thing killed you. Are you hurt bad? Not at all, silly. Maria? That thing, it stabbed you. There was blood everywhere. Stabbed me? What do you mean? It chased us to the elevator, and, and then... What are you talking about? Just before! Don't you remember? James, honey, did something happen to you? After we got separated in that long hallway? Are you confusing me with someone else? <sighs> you were always so forgetful. Remember that time in the hotel? 
Maria? You said you took everything. But you forgot that videotape we made. I wonder if it's still there. How do you know about that? Aren't you Maria? I'm not your Mary. So, you're Maria? I am. If you want me to be. All I want from you is an answer. It doesn't matter who I am. I'm here for you, James. See? I'm real. Don't you want to touch me? I... don't know. Come and get me. I can't do anything through these bars. Okay. Stay right there. I'll be there soon. Okay, so apparently Maria isn't dead yet. Apparently she's alive and well. And she's gonna sit on the bed because apparently the chair isn't comfy enough. But yeah, Maria is alive. Anyone else getting a bad feeling about this woman? I am. Anyway, we got wire cutters. And down the ladder we go. But yeah. Go away, patient demons. Anyway, we have to go all the way back to the main entrance now, but there's another patient demon in the way. Okay, anyway, so we have to come over here. Can't get through because there's wire stretch across the path. And now, wire cutters. All right, so now we go down the ladder, and we are actually approaching the end of the video, once Patient Demons decides to go away. Anyway, so yeah, a lot of things happened. We started exploring the labyrinth, we got the bloody great knife, we got the freaking great knife, we are now in the east side of the labyrinth. And Maria's alive. So I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. In the next video, we'll continue exploring the labyrinth. So until then, it's Gabriel Crimson saying adios, amigos.